Hi everyone and welcome back to the 250 bird challenge. We're spending a couple of days at Algonquin Park. Okay, we're starting out at the old airfield. We've had some look here looking for birds in the past and uh, a checklist was completed yesterday by somebody that spent quite some time here. They saw a few different species. We're coming kind of close to our 250 goal, but this trip uh, kind of opens up a few different species for us that we wouldn't kind of find closer to Toronto. So the pressure is also on. We're going to see how many birds we can find on this Saturday and perhaps sometime tomorrow on Sunday. As we began walking, we almost immediately noticed this bird and wondered, is it? Could it be? A merlin? That would be a lifer, but at this kind of distance they look similar to the American kestrel. We managed to get a little bit closer. New lifer, it's a merlin. As it happens, there was also a kestrel and the two birds kept buzzing each other. You can see how they look quite similar to each other here. And that was about all we saw at the old airfield. Despite the Merlin, we were otherwise a bit disappointed to be honest. We'd hoped for some warblers and maybe a black-backed woodpecker. We moved on to the Logging Museum trail, but it was also quiet. We just saw some yellow rump warblers and a ring-necked duck hanging out with a hooded meganser. There was nothing at the visitor centre, so we made a final stop at the Spruce Bog Trail. I almost immediately spotted a grouse hiding in the trees. We still need a roofed grouse, but as the name of this trail suggests, this bird was a spruce grouse, which we've already seen this year. We thought we'd be finishing the day with only one new bird, but suddenly a couple of things popped up for us at the end of the trail. This bird, hopping around on the ground, is a palm warbler. New bird. And then this bird, which I only got a fleeting photograph of, and which is pretty obscured by the cover, is a chestnut-sided warbler. We left Algonquin for the evening, feeling a little better with three new birds. The following morning, with limited time, we decided to give the old airfield another chance, and we hoped once more to try to find some birds at Algonquin Park that we are less likely to see closer to home. A roofed grouse, black-backed woodpecker, crossbills, Wait, what's this? Guys, we just flushed the black-backed woodpecker. Got some footage of it flying away. It's a new bird for the year. We're going to try and get some better footage of it for you though. So stay tuned. Female. And there's a male further up. There's two of them there. Got it. I've done two or three videos at Algonquin Park before and I have previously mentioned that this area behind me uh, used to be an airfield here at Algonquin Park. It's been left to rewild and there have been controlled burns in recent years and that attracts the kind of species that like that habitat. Uh, no surprise that black-backed woodpeckers, for example, have returned here and no surprise also that small falcons like American kestrels and, and merlins have also been spotted here. Mushroom.
always a pleasure to visit Algonquin Park, but our weekend was over now. We'd secretly hoped we might see three new bird species this weekend, so we were chuffed to have ended the weekend with six species, especially the merlin and the black-backed woodpecker. We'd like to have gotten a roughed grouse, but overall this weekend was a success and has gotten us to within touching distance of our 250 bird goal. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out the rest of the channel because there's more videos like this one. I really appreciate your likes and your comments are welcomed. Stay tuned to the channel for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching. Happy birding.